Good evening. Today is the birthday of two very important people in Indian history. The first is Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, and the second, who is sometimes forgotten in the annals of history, the second Prime Minister of India, Lal Bahadur Shastri. Let me talk about both of them. Let us start with Lal Bahadur Shastri. Now, he was the second Prime Minister of India taking over Jawaharlal Nehru and fought a very important war between India and Pakistan. He was also instrumental in propelling the Green Revolution India which was led by M.S. Swaminathan who died just a few days ago. Lal Bahadur Shastri's achievements are not really mentioned in wide detail because he was not really very present in front of the media. However, that does not mean that his contributions should be forgotten. After a quite mysterious death in the Soviet Union, the exact details of which we still haven't found out, even though we could have then very easily, the Green Revolution was his biggest achievement by far. At that point, India was importing 10 million tons of wheat. And look at us now today, where we are one of the biggest rice, wheat, tea, cotton, jute exporters all around the world, rivaling the US, European countries, South American countries, and even China. That achievement has led us to being very, very self-sufficient in terms of economy. The second notable person on the 2nd of October, on Bo's birth anniversary today, is by the way, World Peace Day as well, Mahatma Gandhi. The father of the nation who died on the 30th of January 1948, and, and we all know the details of that, about how he went to South Africa in his early years, how he gained his patriotism about Indians there, how he moved his movement to India at that point, and how he was basically the leader of the peace freedom struggle, which in the end managed to free India of British control. And Lal Bahadur Shastri was also a part of that. So let us commemorate this day by remembering two great leaders of our nation, and not forgetting their contributions so that their spirits and achievements live on for the next hundreds of years. This is me, Anshmishra, signing off. Thank you very much. Follow for more.